to boldly go where no one has gone before. Hello fellow gamers, I am your host Brent Justice, welcome once again to my channel Justice Gaming and welcome to Star Trek Elite Force 2. I can get my health going here. And I already got that. So we are in sickbay here from the last mission, the last video. We helped the Atrexians and we learned that they do have some enemies but questionable who this new enemy is that can have impulse engines built into them. An interesting concept indeed. A propulsion system. That's crazy. But they specifically mentioned impulse. See, I could understand it better if they had said thrusters. Thrusters would make more sense. But an impulse engine? I mean, those things can do nearly half the speed of light. I don't know about that. But a thruster I could understand. Because with impulse engines, you need, like, fusion power to power those. But anyway... Our mission is to go to the library. <laughs> Literally, that's the mission. Is that the library? Wait a minute. No, that's the armory. Which is equally important. <laughs> the library and the armory. I have no idea what deck the library is on. Turbo lift, brig, main armory, holodeck, cargo bay, your location. Nothing really beats the compression rifle for pure skill. This is definitely not on this level. For sure damage to a close target. Hopefully this will take me to the right place. Deck 11, library. Yeah, it is. I'm real interested in the mystery about these aliens. You know, who are they? What are they? Who is commanding them? All that. Turbo lift, see, library, astrometrics is on this level. I want to visit Astrometrics, actually. I'd love to see the Enterprise E's Astrometrics. We have seen it, of course, but I want to... Uh... No, actually... Yeah. Wait a minute. Let me think. Um... No, we saw the Enterprise D's Astrometrics. I don't know if we've ever seen the E's. In Generations, it was the D's Astrometrics. Oh, something's happening. I'm not even... Did I go to the right Hi, place? Monroe. Telsia, I'm glad to see you up and around. I'm fine. There's no lasting damage from my time in the pattern buffer. You're lucky. That was quite a stunt. I'm ready to go back on duty. Good, because I want you and Gonzalez on the hazard team. I'm glad to see Gonzalez on the team. He's an experienced combat tactician. Almost as experienced as you. I need your expertise to help me figure out these aliens. Is that all you need? Oh, I get a selection here. Is that all you need? I wouldn't mind having you help me do some research on the Atrexians. Or, yeah, that's about it. Yeah, let's uh, have her help me. I wouldn't mind having you help me do some research on the Atrexians. Well, I guess we're going to go do that right now. I wanted to go see Astrometrics. I didn't know that's the library. I'll come back to that real quick. Maybe she'll still be in there. I'm just curious. I am playing curious today. I like to see new things. Stellar car. Oh, yeah. This is pretty sick, isn't it? Man, I love it. It's like you're in space. Stellar cartography. Okay. That's pretty awesome. Now let's go to the library, which is not here. It's here. Hello, have you returned your books? I guess I specifically have to be at her console. Hmm. No usual suspects here. The Atrexians seem to have made very few enemies. 
Pretty good for an expanding mini-empire with over 20 colony planets. Especially a mini-empire so close to the neutral zone. They were lucky enough to expand into systems not claimed by other races. And smart enough to stay out of the way of the Romulans. This is cool. I like this. All right. 5,000 years of industrial evolution has produced a race of beings known in their sector as the Atrexians, formerly the workhorse of a powerful alien society. The Atrexians now control a large sphere of trade influence. Nearly 2,000 years ago, the Atrexians began truly developing their independence on interstellar relations and are now thriving in the system which houses their home planet and a few sister planets in trade stations. A hardy race... This is, uh, the Atrexians are biosterous and unrefined. They rely heavily on manual labor and true industry to move their culture forward. Trading or buying technological improvements has proven to be a successful method of cultural advance. Education plays a secondary role to family and work in Atrexian society, as well as the development of an advanced healthcare system built to deal with casualties of manual labor and the harsh living conditions associated with interstellar trade. There's some unrest on Atrexian planets populated by other races. Same with many stellar empires. Ongoing problems with smugglers. Same with the Federation. But no angry species of semi-intelligent exoskeletal aliens. Atrexian life is built around the maintenance of their planet, as well as the production of power for their numerous industrial projects. They have a resource-heavy planet which produces many desirable goods. The hierarchy of Atrexian society is a traditional council-driven government with female members overseeing most of the trade and commercial decisions regarding interstellar relations. The attraction military is primary male in body. It's a good balance, I guess. Atrexian Index. The Atrexian environments are built solely for function. Pierced, uh, pieced together more for efficiency than form, their cities are always in a constant state of production. Vast ecological damage has impacted the hospitality of their planet in some areas. The Atrexian technological development is not up to par with other similarly involved species. The Atrexians are a Federation candidate. If they join, Starfleet will get some prime bases near the neutral zone. Does that give the Romulans a motivation to attack them? With what? Their private army of semi-intelligent exoskeletal aliens? Then we may be looking at the first wave of an extra-dimensional invasion. Ooh, extra-dimensional. So this is the Idril they talked about. While they are a highly technical race, very little is known about the Idril culture and people. Eschewing space travel, many Idril stay within Atrexian space and act as technicians and engineers for the Atrexian government, which they have served under for several hundred years. In Atrexian society, the Idril are not recognized as equals, but as vassals who work for their Atrexian overseers. Well, I mean, that would, that would make an enemy, would it not? Somebody feeling oppressed? They would want to rebel against their o oppressors. <laughs> would that not make them an enemy? Or at least seek somebody out who could fight for them? Uh, Idril seem like a prime suspect to me right now. Could be wrong, though. With no central homeworld, the Idril occupies several planets with the, within his Trexian space. On these planets, the Idril not only show their technical prowess, but also their artistic skills as well. The Idril are regarded highly by several federational institutions for their proficiency in several art forms, including music paintings and architecture. I mean, it says they're technologically advanced, maybe more advanced than the Atrexians, so maybe that's how they do it. I'm glad we could spend some time together. I already did this. Okay, well, so did we get stuff? Well, I did that. Now what happens? Lieutenant Monroe, report to the hazard team briefing room. On my way. Wow. Meet in the briefing room. Hazard ops. Yeah, I wonder where we're gonna head next. I mean, what we learned here really didn't help. We didn't really learn much. To be honest, what we already knew. <sighs> Here we go. It's 
find out what happens. We've traced the aliens to the fifth planet. The hazard team is going to Vioc Epsilon 5. Oh. It's an uncolonized Class M planet in a Trexian space. Sensors found trace levels of the propulsion signature left by the aliens' personal impulse drives. The aliens attacked the Atrexian space station from the fifth planet. But how did they get to the fifth planet? That's what we want you to find out. Is it inhabited? We have detected a shuttlecraft and multiple life forms, but not the aliens you fought on the Dallas. However, there is an area where our sensors cannot penetrate. That area corresponds to the end of the propulsion trail. Other than that, the planet looks undisturbed by sentient creatures. Investigate and report back what you find. Wow. Aye, sir. All right. So we've already tracked down where they came from. Our answers are down on that planet. Corban, Talsia, Chell, you're with me. Could they be breeding these new enemies, this new life form down there? I do wonder. Cool shot. Enterprise E circling a planet. This must be the strange shuttle design. Common engine, but the style's not in the registry. I'm tracking some life forms ahead. Alien invaders. No. <sighs> we'll look for them. So, by the way, thank you everybody for the comments. Um, the uh, person who is voicing Corbon, Corbin, Corbon is uh, Tony Todd, uh, the voice of Kern, Worf's brother. So thank you for that post in the comments. I very much appreciate that. That uh, gives me the answer I was looking for. I knew I recognized the voice. I just uh, didn't connect it exactly. We have to investigate, right? Some unknown alien spacecraft. See what my tricorder says? Well, it says nothing. See what this says. See if I can break in through anything. No, it looks like I can't. Just had to check. Oh, I've got a bio scan mode. I got another mode. They didn't tell me about that. I got trace gas mode. Oh, they didn't tell me about these new modes. All right, check it out. So we've got structural integrity view, bio scan, I guess, so I can see bio signatures, and trace gases, so I can see gases and things. Oh, that is so cool. They didn't tell me I was going to have new modes. Alright, I'm interested in the mystery. What do we got? Another creepy world, too. And we are outdoors. We're on the planet. It's so cool to have an outdoor environment in this game. Obviously very simple. Quake 3 engine here, but still very cool. An outdoor environment. Hope everybody's following. Well, they're way behind. Proceed to the life forms. Are they dangerous? Well, they're not firing at me, so... They look friendly? We're with the Federation. What are you doing here? We're investigating an attack on the space station. We hadn't heard about any attacks. Are we in danger? We wiped out the aliens. You should be safe now. Good. The invaders came from this planet. You know anything about that? We saw no aliens. Why are you here? We're researching the ruins here. Our hypothesis is that this planet was an Idril outpost 3,000 years ago. Where are these ruins? Further ahead, we lost contact with our three archaeologists there. We sent an armed search party, but lost contact with them as well. Now we have no weapons. We'll look for them. Be careful. The outskirts of the ruins have been infested with brood fiends. 
brood fiends. Well, that sounds wonderful. I have a theory. What if they, like, got to the ruins and they unlocked some kind of secret chamber that let out, like, ancient aliens that are now attacking everything? I don't know. It's either that or they are breeding an alien army. But these must be the Idril, huh? I don't agree that the ancient Idril were a completely agrarian society. They show decisive evidence of sophisticated manufacturing techniques. I'm just not convinced. We've discovered no conclusive proof that the Idril were the ones who created the artifacts we're finding. I'm confident the data will bear out my conclusions in the end. Perhaps. We need to keep investigating. Agreed. I, I love the dialogue that you can walk up on and listen to what they're talking about. It, ex, it, it, it uh, expands the lore. I love that. So, uh, yeah, Idril male. The Idril are an intelligent and dignified race that claim to be under the oppression of the Atrexian society. Okay, so these are the Idril. What is you? Just looking around. Keep trying the communication. I'm very that. concerned about our Not missing archaeologists. Please let I'm us know still if you're getting nothing but static. Oh, this planet poses many challenges. Let me know if anything comes through. All right. Find the scouting party. Find the entrance, and find the missing Idril archaeologists. Of course. These environmental conditions are making it difficult to properly use our equipment. We'll need to figure out a way to adapt our systems to account for the increased temperature. We must carry on as best we can. I wish the others were still here. I think the bioscan will show me where the uh, alien things are. I love the scenery here. This is really cool. I don't know what I'm walking into. That can be broken into. Oh, that could be... Bio Parts thing. of this structure are very unstable. I'm surprised this place is still standing. I've located the main entrance. Main I'm transferring the path to your tricorder. All right. Oh, great. The locking mechanism's on the other side. That search party must have wanted to keep everyone out. Or keep something in. I'm on this side, but now what? Maybe something else to break open? Restore power to the door. Okay, well. How would one do that? Aha! We climb. Oh crap, I fell. I didn't know where to go, and I fell right off the edge. Put my tr tricorder out, too. My character is so squiggly. When I jump straight, it doesn't quite jump straight. It wants to move around.
Okay, now where to go? Here, maybe? Oh, maybe up there. I need to get back up here. Darn it. Gotta do all that again. Third time's a charm. Who would have thought jumping would be so hard? My character wants to move so fast. I hear something. This isn't dangerous at all. That's going to kill me if I go down there. Oh, maybe not. Careful, careful. Okay, I'm down. Things are happening. I hear noise. That fell. Okay, good. Glad it wasn't on me. Well, I'm on the other side, but I'm all by myself now. My friends are stuck. What a huge area, too. And what am I into? This is huge. Oh, these can be broken. Okay, that's interesting. Oh, it broke the wall open. Very cool. I guess we aren't getting in there. And we can't go that way. We can't look at what's on this side. I'm just trying to explore a little bit before I continue. Looks like we're going to have to go in that way, but I wanted to check this out. Main power offline. Alright, so I have to go the other way, for sure. That looks ominous. Looks like we're gonna have some combat here. They're gearing me up. I can see it already. 
This looks like a place to shoot things. Okay, so that must be the alien, uh, one of the aliens they were talking about. Okay, we can't go into those areas. Here we go. One of these. Okay, so. We're about the right width. I just need to slow that down a bit. There we go. Power, Power restored. Power is on. Oh, we got blue ones, too. Let's get this going all the way up. Okay, the front door should be open. Or I should be able to open the front door. Whoa, we got a big one. Oh, we got big ones. Okay, I hate, hate these spider creatures. Spiders are my worst nightmare. Doors open. Is that the best they've got? Doubtful. I think they're just testing us. So we passed the test, right? Now they leave us alone, right? Quiet. Stay alert. Okay, door is open. But where do we go from here? All these doors were inaccessible. I couldn't get to this side. Maybe we have to go back in, or maybe we'll try this door up here. It was cl it was closed before. Let's try going up here. No, it's still closed. Oh, now it's open. For this weapon, cool. They have a recharge for that weapon too. Nice. That's new. There's another one. I got a mama. Whoa, whoa hello. They seem to have adapted their strategies after the last attack. They're smarter than they look. Yes, they are. I don't like it. There's another one. Monroe, wait. This pathway's highly unstable. Use structural integrity view mode and watch where you step. Understood. Hazard team, wait here. I'll cross and find a safer path. L-I-B. 
Oh, great. Okay, so skip to the loo. My darling. Whoa. 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 Hey, I did it. It's all good. Come on in. Oh, I guess I gotta open the door or something. Oh, no. I don't like this room. This room is a bad room. Thanks, Monroe. Good to see you. What? Oh, are there people inside here? Oh, there are. I, I shot at them. Didn't even see there were people in Life signs, Chell. They've been dead for several days. I guess we found the Idril scouting party. Okay. That's lovely. Creepy noises. Cover me while I crack the security code. Okay. Oh, I need ammo recharge. Watch out. Okay, got it. Let's go. Incoming. Got one. Oh boy, they are, they are right there waiting for me. Oh, we got the bridge of death here. We got the a ramp. The power relay for this energy bridge is on the other side. Wait here. I'll activate the bridge. I will. I'm doing it, Mom. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Oh, that was crazy. I saw I saw I saw how it worked. I got it. Whoa, look at the ruins and stuff. Oh, it's a big and This is my nightmare. This is my nightmare. Big creatures that spawn little creatures. Just what I never wanted. All by myself. Why do they always separate us? Good job, Monroe. Ah. Come help me, guys. I need backup. <laughs> I need backup. It's a big place too. It's a big, like a lot of ruins here. Come on, guys. I need backup. I sense a lot of creatures. This is a big battle arena right here. You know what I'm saying? This is a battle arena.
Okay. We're in boss mode. We're in boss mode. Uh, kill it with fire. Run and kill it with fire. Okay. I was thinking there might be a secret over here. No secrets. It's just me and the bug. We got contact. Run out of ammo. like an ammo recharge or something. pretty rough. Really had to throw everything at it. Big old bug. Didn't like it. Out of ammo on everything. It reflects a culture in an advanced stage of development. It reflects a culture that knows his enemies are easily distracted. Unknown life forms infesting facility. Basic eradication systems coming online in 10 seconds. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, one. There's another one! Weapon turrets! They cut off power to the doors. We're trapped! Oh, uh, take cover. <laughs> How do I defeat them? Maybe I just blow them up enough? Yeah, just blow them up enough. Ah! Oh, wow. It's just constant. Constant everything in this game. I knew it would be like that. It's a fast-paced kind of game. It's a game you run through and you kill everything. Just shoot at everything. Sometimes there's a trick to taking stuff out, and sometimes there's not. I love the uh, ruins. I love these purple glowing lights. It's a really cool, really cool design. Uh, alien species I've never seen in Star Trek before. Uh oh. This looks like an arena. Infestation becoming acute. Detection of individual life forms required. Escalating to localized eradication system. That doesn't sound good. Also, it looks like what? gas. Gas. The cowards. <coughs> Where's it coming from? <coughs> I don't know. 
Use the trace gas view mode on your tricorder to find it. Okay, so cool. We, that now it's telling us about the. All of these are in. I gotta let my tricorder build back up. My tricorder, I mean my phaser. <laughs> I didn't blow this one up yet, did I? No. The gas is sealed. Ah, okay. Good work, Monroe. That was an interesting little puzzle. I guess it could have been like any of the any of these events. But it was interesting that you had like shoot all the way up and down them like that's the three different nozzles that was coming out that's pretty interesting very very precise very specific to where you had to shoot it to bring it down find the missing angel archaeologist Ooh. next section Of individual life forms what required. is that? Uh, I'm not sure. Checking sensors now. System. What is this? Where are we? Are we underground or in an ocean? What is happening outside? What is what it is? What it is? But, oh, these are the ones. Feel my wrath. These are the ones from the station. He felt you miss him by a kilometer. Do not test my patience, Bolian. That was strange. It just exploded. A trap. Monroe, check the bio scanner's view mode on your tricorder. Takes a while to get to the different modes. Oh. How does that, though, detect bio signatures? Maybe it's just a biohazard? It says bioscan. I don't see how that's a bioscan. It's more like a biohazard. Okay, so Oh, 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 I see. I see. I should have kept my view open because I apparently just died. My viewer thing. Open. Infestation becoming acute. Detection of individual life forms What does that mean? Uh, I'm not sure. Checking sensors now. System. Okay. Uh, so when I... Oh, it goes all the way to the edge. I see. Would help to turn that off. Well, the bio scanners are down, but that panel activated a force field. Looks like we'll have to find another way around. Of course you will. I'm on my own again. Why are they always leaving me on my own?
Stop shooting at me. Oh. Okay, that was not the thing to do. <laughs> that was not, I don't know what I was trying to do right there. I really don't know what I was trying to do, to be honest with you. Station becoming acute. Detection of individual life forms What does that mean? Uh, I'm not sure. I'm checking sensors now. System. Well, the bio scanners are down, but that panel activated a force field. Looks like we'll have to find another way around. I don't like this. Oh yeah, look, these are inside some kind of stasis tubes. So, is, did they, like, just accidentally release these things? See, that's what it looks like to me. Well, I almost had it. I was close. I got the right principle. Jump on it and let it take me to the top. I was close. A station becoming acute. Detection of individual life forms What does that mean? Uh, I'm not sure. Checking sensors now. System. I should get it this time. Well, the bio scanners are down, but that panel activated a force field. Looks like we'll have to find another way around. Pick me up. Uh, I fell. Oh, come on. I I jumped. I jumped. That is a ripoff. I jumped. Station becoming acute. Detection of individual life forms. What does that mean? Uh, I'm not sure. I'm checking sensors now. System. I did jump. Well, the bio scanners are down, but that panel activated a force field. Looks like we'll have to find another way around. Reunite with Hazard Team. Got it. Alright, I am... Whoa! Alright, I gotta look out for those turrets. I'm most likely gonna die here, so you know what I'm gonna do? Make it a little easier on myself. See what I mean? I knew I would die here. I knew I would die here. Ooh! Ooh. What are you doing? What do you do? Really? Oh, I get it. Oh, I hate this. Bye bye. I'm dead. <laughs> Alright, I know what to do now. 
I need to um, make a save game right here because this is going to be tricky. I want to save it here. I see what I need to do, but it's going to be tricky. Oh, come on. I almost had that. I'm in between. I gotta wait for one to come down, jump off of it, turn around. Bye bye, I'm dead. Dang it, I was close on that one. Come on, where's another one? Oh, I got it. Oh, that was rough. I'm I'm saving. Oh, we got a thing shooting at me. I'm saving it every place that I come to because this is nuts. <laughs> In case I just fail. What do I need to do on this one? I probably can just go straight across. Oh boy. Oh boy, what's gonna happen here? Am I gonna have to ride something, I bet? Oh, I bet I am. How close are you going to get? Alright, go to where I need to go. I don't know where I need to go. <laughs> Take me to your leader. Oh, maybe that's where I needed to go. I don't know if this is where I needed to go or not, or if I needed to go lower. Nope, maybe that'll work. Oh, I'm back in this tube. Oh, we got another one. I see it. Oh, good. We've got a got a multiple one going on here. Save game. This is the map of puzzles, apparently. Oh, you move too, huh? That's good. Oh, I did it. Oh, hallelujah. By the force field. All I did was get to a force field. Now, how does that help me? Aha. Breakable. Got it. Move to the next part. End up. Oh, okay. Oh, we're through that maze. I hated that. And we got another maze. God! The music just ramped up too. Well, let's make another save game place. If we made it this far. Too quiet. What's happening? What's happening? That 
that not where it's coming from? That well, is where it's coming from. Is that not it? Oh, there's yeah. multiple ones. Did I not do it? Ah, oh, there's four of them. I didn't see that there's four of them. Golly. Well, that was nuts. I didn't see that there were four of them. That took down my health quite a bit. Oh good, we've got another one of these. That's lovely. Alright, well, we got past that little puzzle, so let's save here again. So these are blinking off intermittently. I think I can make it if I... When they all come on at once, I might can go across. And die. Okay, this is gonna take a while. Oh man, I made it. Haha, <laughs> that was lucky. Those turrets get me every time. That was pure luck that I got that jump. I'm gonna tell you, that was pure luck that I got that jump. I'm going to save it here because there's no way I can repeat that. Holy crap. Monroe, whatever you did, just opened the second door in the main hall. Oh, no, oh no, come back up. There's nothing else in here. Oh, that turned that on. Okay. Oh, good. Well, these creatures are definitely down here. Well, wow, that was just a section of puzzles. Let me tell you. Oh, I'm out of ammo. Gosh. Well, all these doors are open. I don't know which doors to go down. They're all open now. Oh, look at this. We've got a slug horse. What a beautiful mural. I wonder if the Idril created it. We don't have enough data to say.
Yeah, it is pretty cool. Is this where the scientists are? I don't see them. Infestation at chronic levels. More turrets! We need to deactivate their defenses. Monroe, I think I can disable that security system. I just have to reach that console. Off me while I work. Well, I will. I. You mentioned this strange system. This I makes didn't... no sense. There's no way I can. Oh, wait. Okay. Disable the defensive systems. I've located the scientists in an adjacent room. I've overridden the security protocols, so we should be able to reach them now. Okay. Well, that was chaotic. A lot of ammo on that one. Is there not another one? Yeah, there is. found them. And they are wearing interesting clothing for being archaeologists. We're with the Federation. Are you in need of any assistance? Yes. We've been trapped down here for days. Thank you. I'm Dr. Inigor. This is Dr. Clea. I'm Lieutenant Monroe Cleo. from the Starship Enterprise. Patrick. Ensigns Chell, Corban, and Murphy. The Federation? Well, what are you doing out here? We came here to investigate an attack on one of our starships in the local Atrexian space station. I hope no one was hurt. Who attacked the station? The same aliens that invaded these ruins. They're not aliens. They're exomorphs. Exomorphs. We manufactured them. They're genetically modified beasts of burden. Beasts of burden? Try killing machines. Not by design. We don't know why they became aggressive. Their behavioral regulators must have malfunctioned. When Clea deciphered this amazing machinery, we manufactured only the peaceful Exomorph templates. Inigor, please. Crindo's still trapped in the lower level. Lieutenant Monroe, please save him. Quite so. Please save my son, if you can. I'm amazed you were able to make it this far. Yes, Me too. climbing <laughs> over so many alien corpses was inconvenient. How many exomorphs can this factory create? Very good question. Since the facility automatically mines the planet's inorganic compounds... Then the planet can crank out its weight and kill our aliens? Well, not quite its weight. More like the total mass of its carbon deposits, plus... That would be billions. Theoretically, over a trillion, if you account for the... Enough! Let's stop this murder world. Stay here and protect the world. It's not a murder world. It's the glory of the Idril. It's... It's gonna kill your son if we don't get going. Oh, yes. Please go. I do have to say, that is the most appealing archaeology outfit I've ever seen. I mean, why not? Why not?
Let's go save his son. Find Idril's son. Where does this go? And of course, I'm all by myself again. Why, why keep separating me? Please don't do that. I need my backup. We did get an answer though. These are called exomorphs. So these are called exomorphs. They are a creation of the ancient Idril. What is this room? I survived that? I survived that. I fell to my death and survived that. Almost fell to my death. If I had not, if I had fallen through the fans, would have definitely fell to my death. Okay, they uh, put out a lot of damage. Note to self, bashers put out a lot of damage. My health is down to 47. Dr. Thanks. Crindo, I presume? Yes. I'm with the Federation. Well, I'm glad you found me. The Exomorphs nearly took my arm off. You're lucky they didn't take your head off. <laughs> You're right. Looks like we made some mistakes. Explain. I think the behavioral regulators malfunctioned while I was modifying the jump jets. I'm sorry for... Save it. Show me where we shut down this murder world. Come with me. <laughs> murder world. Shut it down. Well, it will take some time. About six hours to discontinue the incubation process. You don't have six hours. It would be faster for me to repair the behavioral regulators. Maybe two hours. No, it's faster than that. What? Blowing it up. No! <laughs> That's Monroe's style, and we completed the mission by doing that. <laughs> I like that abrupt, just shoot it, destroy it, mission over. That takes care of the problem, I guess. We created our exomorphs to be builders, not killers. Look how quickly they restored the facility from ruins. To our eternal shame, we lost control of them. But we proved the Idril were a great empire, and we exposed a Trexian lies, and... You almost got yourselves killed. That's the price of seeking truth. And the dead Atrexians, were they also your price? We can't undo the catastrophe, but we can atone for it. We have the ability to create a limitless workforce for both the Idril and the Atrexians. We cannot let you create new exomorphs. I can fix the behavioral regulators. 
They only malfunctioned because we had to work in secret. We don't know that for a fact. The Atrexians have suppressed our archaeological evidence to distort history, oppress our people, and control our planets. Her That's polygons very are very charge. sharp. I don't make that claim lightly. We found archaeological evidence on Vioc Theta 3. Very pointy the polygons. The Atrexian government shut down our dig site and impounded all our artifacts. We were furious. Furious enough to kill? The truth is our only weapon. The machinery in this facility will allow us to prove that the Atrexians took over ancient Idril colony That's worlds. one heck of a beard Unless on that Unless the guy. Federation has destroyed all the evidence to help their Atrexian allies. We are not allies of the Atrexians. Like a flat you beard. you wish to be. You want them in your Federation of Planets. Enough. We are not hiding your findings. Besides the safety concerns, have you considered the rights of the Exomorphs? Rights? They are clearly not sentient beings. We'll make that determination in consultation with Starfleet Command. Until then, you are confined to quarters. Ooh. We're actually confining them. I mean, that's like pretty serious. I mean, we're not even like just ordering them to their quarters. We're confining them and putting them under guard. Jeez, we don't trust Monroe, them, do we? I'd like you to talk to Clea. I suspect she's the most likely to be cooperative. Hi, sir. Captain, should I assist Lieutenant Monroe? I think not. Monroe has an advantage here. Clea credits him with saving Crindo. Even if Crindo does not. <laughs> also, she's a hot babe. <laughs> Monroe can deal with that. Right? <laughs> Monroe is the is is the guy for the job on this one, let me tell you. <laughs> uh, I think that's where we'll end today's video. Uh, talk with Clea about the Idril. So we found out a lot in this episode. We found out that the Idril have ancient ruins. There's ancient Idril. They created these exomorphs. Um, they can recreate them now, but they, they have these behavior modifications that can go wrong and make them kind of just kill everybody. Are they sentient? That's a big question. I assume we'll find out, and if they are, we'll set them free. If not, I guess we'll stop the project. I don't know. Uh, interested to see where this goes, but yeah, it's interesting that there's no big, like... I thought it was going to be a bigger story, like it was starting to, to sound like extra-dimensional stuff, or some kind of overlord that was, like, unknown that was controlling these. But no, it's just the Idril who can make, the, make them, and they kind of went wrong, and now we got to figure out where we're going to go from there. Um, so, a little um, under on the story there. A little under what I was thinking it might turn out to be. Something a little more epic. Um, it's just a general regular story at this point. Nothing too surprising there. Um, but I'm still interested to see where the storyline goes. Maybe there are some surprises down the road. Who knows? I don't. All I know is I need to talk with Clea and... I'm not too disappointed about that. <laughs> Alright, so we'll continue in the next video with that. Thank you all for who continue to watch this series, and I hope you are enjoying it. Uh, I really am enjoying this game. It's exactly what I thought it would be like. Um, it's old school, fast paced, first person shooter. You run through and shoot everything you can as quickly as possible before uh, and, and save people from dying. And uh, that's, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. This last one, we had a whole bunch of puzzles and uh, platforming and uh, puzzles to, to figure out. And the gas thing was a new element introduced. Uh, and all the different functions of the tricorder. That's really cool that that's been introduced now on the tricorder. I like that. Just kind of expanding our kit a little bit. I really like that. That's good stuff. But it was a lot of puzzles and it was a lot of like, ooh, am I going to make this jump or am I going to fall off to my death? And I did a few times. So anyway, I'm still enjoying it. Thank you for watching. Uh, subscribe if you would like to and leave a like on the video. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for the next one.